Hello, I'm Zan, and it's Monday here on Diary of a Gender Fluid. So, it's been a while. <laughs> um, I missed the last couple of videos because finals week happened. Yay! And as you may know, finals week is really more like a finals month, in which your professors give you piles and piles of papers to write and all that good fun stuff. <laughs> um, Spent the last week at school writing 25 pages uh, and studying for two exams, and that was not very fun, I gotta say. <laughs> Although, I really did enjoy um, writing the papers for my theater class, um, since my theater class was actually about oppression. Um, and it was really cool because we got to work with um, oppressed groups on campus. So some people were paired with the LGBTQIA plus group on campus, and that was a little bit awkward, since I'm like, my classmates are coming to my LGBTQ meetings, and obviously they saw me there, and it was just kind of like awkward, um, because we go around and say name and pronouns and everything at the beginning, and my classmates were just kind of shocked, you know? But, again, it was a class on oppression, so nobody was going to be super oppressive about it, because you can't take a class about oppression and then go oppress a bunch of people for your oppression-fighting project. So, at least there was that. Um, so anyway, I really enjoyed everything in that class, and I got 100% on every single thing I did in that class, because I was able to relate uh, things back to oppression I have faced. and. That was basically um, really what he wanted to hear, was about how you can apply this to real life, to oppression you've seen, or that you know of, or that you've experienced. And since I've experienced a lot of those things, and I have a lot of friends who have experienced those things, I was able to make so many connections in the class um, between our class material and my real everyday life. And so it was really a fun class. And anyway, um, I'm back now. It's uh, winter break. And I have two weeks off from school, so that's nice. Um, I'm at home, my parents' house. <sighs> and I'm finally just going to have a week where I do whatever I want to do. I'm going to read... <sighs> this book. I'm really excited. It's um, Alexander Hamilton's biography. Um, and it's like over 700 pages, it's pretty big, and I'm really excited because I am currently uh, a bit obsessed with uh, Hamilton, the musical by Lin-Manuel Miranda, um, that's on Broadway right now. It is absolutely amazing, and I keep getting this, like, impulse to just drop everything and fly to New York City and see it, but I know it's not possible because I don't have money, but... If I did, that is where I would be, like, gosh. It's, it's amazing. If you have not heard Hamilton, go check it out, because, because it's just absolutely genius. It's brilliant, and I love it so much. Um, it's got a mix, perfect mix of so many different things, of, you know, politics, history, uh, revolution, uh, the hope of making a better future. Um, just a lot of things that I really wish that I could do to help people are the, a lot of the things that um, Alexander Hamilton was fighting to do. And it's honestly really inspirational um, and beautifully written. So yeah, check it out. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to say that I am now back. I'll be making videos again. Um, I hope you have a wonderful winter. So if you, like me, get some sort of a break in December, like these two weeks I've got here, just I hope you have a good time, enjoy yourself, um, be careful about family. I know um, the holiday season can be really difficult um, for a lot of people. and. It's tough. You just gotta try and remember that you're not alone. Um, honestly, I don't know how 
to um, give advice on getting through the holidays when I myself am not that great at it. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I've got some family members who are awesome. I just also have some that aren't. <laughs> um, and I mean, I'm sure we all have that. You can't just get like the most lucky, perfect family. That's not really... It sounds almost impossible, but I suppose nothing's impossible. It's probably just improbable. So if you do have that family, congratulations! Um, yeah, you rock. If not, uh, I'm there with you, so <sighs> try to have a good time. Alright, I'll see you next Monday. Bye.